my Browns friends out there. This is Buckeye Vinny coming to you with another Cleveland Browns football segment. Sit back and enjoy this one. Today's segment is going to be the five all-time greatest games in Browns-Steelers rivalry. Before I start, I want to give a special shout-out to a good friend of mine and subscriber, Joel Pyle, for suggesting this video for me to do today. Thank you, Joel. Everybody sit back and enjoy this. Again, my friends, this is just my opinion about the five all-time greatest games. I'm going to first start off in 1979 in Classic Three River Stadium. The Browns found themselves leading this game only for Terry Bradshaw and Franco Harris and company to come back and defeat the Browns 33-30 in 1979. Yes, this game was an overtime game. And what a game it was. Brian Seip, phenomenal game. Completed 23 out of 38, 333 yards passing, and three touchdowns. But Terry Bradshaw played a little better. We all know Terry Bradshaw, Hall of Fame quarterback, completed 30 out of 44 attempts, 364 yards, and one touchdown. And what a game for the Steelers running back, Franco Harris. 32 carries, 151 yards, and two touchdowns on the ground. Moving on, 1980. This game was in Classic Stadium, Municipal Stadium in Cleveland, where the Browns found themselves down, but the Cardiac Kids never gave up. They came back and defeated the Steelers in 1980, 27-26. Brian Sype played a whale of a game, 28 out of 46 attempts, 349 yards passing, and four touchdowns, and the game-winning pass to all-pro tight end Ozzie Newsom, and that was the game-winning touchdown catch for Ozzie. Moving on, 2003. Classic game, and this was actually a playoff game between the Browns and the Steelers in Pittsburgh. Again, the Browns were up by as many as 17 points, only to lose this game in the closing seconds, 36 to 33. And you know, my friends, what a game this was. Kelly Holcomb, you know, boy, we never mentioned that name in a while. 26 completions out of 43 attempts, 429 yards passing, and three touchdowns. And the hero for the Steelers in this game? was Tommy Maddox, 30 out of 48, 367 yards passing, and three touchdowns. What a game for Tommy Maddox. Moving on, 2007. This game was in Pittsburgh, and the Steelers won this game. Another classic shootout between the two teams. Steelers went on to win 31-28. to Derek Anderson was the Browns quarterback then. He threw three touchdown passes, but Big Ben stole the show. 23 out of 34, 278 yards passing, and two touchdowns. And to round it out, the top five 2021 season where the Cleveland Browns went on to beat the Steelers in, reg in regular season now, 24 to 22. And my friends, I'm just going to say this. Baker Mayfield played a very good game, completed 17 out of 27, passes 196 yards, and one touchdown. But my friends, you got to remember, the reason why I included this game was because this is the game that pushed the Browns into the playoffs. We all know this was a regular season game. If the Browns would have lost to the Steelers at the end of the season, the last game of the year, the Browns would not have went on to the playoffs. So this is a big reason why I have this in the five all-time greatest games in Browns-Steelers history. Again, the Steelers do hold the series lead, 77 wins, 61 losses, 
and one time. My friends, if you are new to my channel, I ask you to please subscribe to my channel. Please click on the subscribe button. If you like this video today, please click on the like button. And like always, please comment down below. Buckeye Vinny here wants to hear your comments. And I would like to know the greatest games that you thought between this great rivalry of Cleveland and Pittsburgh. Like always, peace out. God bless. Buckeye Vinny's out of here.